pres presidential frontrunners like Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have been talking about helping the middle class. In 2014, the typical American family income was about $53,000 annually, and that's actually less than it was in 1999. So why aren't we getting raises? Good question. John Lordson's looking into this. It's kind of disheartening, John. Yeah, and this is a big part of this year's election, like you guys said. Democrats want to raise the minimum wage. Republicans want to lower taxes and shed regulations. What's certain is that an improving economy has not helped middle class wages. It doesn't surprise me because I consider myself in that part. Consider everything that happened between 1989 and 2014, 25 years worth of changes. But one thing has stayed pretty much the same. I would have thought that as we continue to move forward that it would continue to increase. The median household income was just over $53,000 in 1989. In 2014, it was only a few hundred dollars more. It's the same as it was in 2014. Okay. That's not right. So you weren't shocked to see these numbers? No, not at all. Mick Shepik is a professor of management at the University of St. Thomas. He says there are reasons why raises have been hard to come by. Yeah, I would think it's partially the uh, cost of living. I think it's also the training. I think it's a combination of just how the economy is and employers. Businesses have found out over the last really two decades that they can continue to grow their productivity without having to grow their wage bill. Shepik says in the 1980s, white collar workers were being laid off. He says a fluctuating economy in the 90s didn't help either. And advancements in technology showed employers that one person can do the work of three or four. All of a sudden, when I used to have you know, 100 people, I'm now getting along with 75 or 80. And in that case, a cost of living raise of 3% doesn't help much. And so if inflation is running at two or two five, you know, that, that gives you your 1% increase. But Shepik says most workers deal with the slight increase because they have a high work ethic. Is there hope for the middle class that we'll see this number take a jump at some point? Well, the, I don't think there's any hope in the, you know, in the near term. Kind of a sobering thought. However, we have seen the median household income rise to $57,843. That was back in 1999. So it has gone up and down over the years but never actually skyrocketed. The number that has skyrocketed, executive salaries. We've seen sure. some of those We've big numbers that, yeah. for CEOs and whatnot. Of course, that's not included in this breakdown. So That's its own good question, probably. Yeah. But definitely for another day, for yeah. sure. People yeah. get hot about that. Yeah. That's right. All right. Thanks, John. If you have a good question for John, you can email it by going to wcco.com slash links.